when people use two screening, I, I think it's usually used in the perspective of the legacy linear television um, industry. So meaning a second experience that's a companion experience to the main television experience. In our business, the, the television screen is the first screen. Um, I, that doesn't, that's not to say that always leading with the first screen experience is the right answer. Take two things or three things or four things and that are individually great um, in terms of uh, their, their appeal to consumers and the revenue and the margin they bring in. But if you put them together and approach them um, as, a, as a whole that's greater than the sum of the parts, you achieve even more benefit that way. In, in, within Turner, there's a few examples, recent examples. Um, our Big Bang Theory companion app for iOS and Android. Um, you know, I, I think it's doing some unique things in terms of how we, the, the, the opportunities we give the audience to engage with a television broadcast while it's happening. Um, there's a t tremendous opportunities with sports, for example. Uh, you know, the, 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 the gamification of, of media is such a powerful way to engage consumers and, you know, with sports it's just such a natural. If you want to get that, that situation where the whole is greater than the sum of the parts, um, I think you need to look at both each platform in terms of what's unique about that experience on that platform. You know, the, the, the form factor, what the customer base looks like, how, the, how people use it. Um, but also how that experience, the entertainment experience across all those platforms sort of comes together. Well, I think there is tremendous evidence that, that mobile technologies are changing consumers' preferences in terms of the, the, the entertainment experience that they, that they want. Which, which platform, which product, at what time, you know, my media as I want to experience it. Um, that, that dynamic is having a tremendous impact across many industries, including media and entertainment. Uh, you know, I, I don't know, I don't think we know, I don't know that anybody knows um, how it's all going to play out. Um, you know, it, it's, in fact, it's very likely that some of the key ways it's going to play out, some of the, some of the, you know, final answers to that are, are things we haven't even really thought of today. Um, but I think uh, we know what's happening, uh, and um, we could sit back and play defense and hope that as this, this, this massive change occurs that we're left, you know, standing with a strong, excuse me, a strong business on the other side. I don't think that'd be a very great strategy. Um, I think we're, what a company needs to do is to reinvent itself and to um, continue to find ways to lead and to place multiple bets and to try different things as we go through this kind of change. From a technology standpoint, you know, we're constantly looking at what, which platforms we think matter, how well we can create experiences on those platforms in an efficient way, you know, whether it's it, this experience needs to be a native, we can do this one in HTML, there's some blending opportunities there in hybrid apps, um, exploring different code libraries that let us um, it's not quite build once, deploy everywhere, but it's, you know, it's, it's efficiency improvements. And there's all kinds of customer experience things, whether it's um, you know, geolocation specific information or developing experiences that are like game playing with loyalty programs and reward points and, and trivia contests, things that really further engage the consumer around the core product, which is you know, the television television broadcast. You know, today and historically, Turner's customers are big advertisers and big distribution companies, and we have <clears throat> limited relationships with end consumers. Um, I think uh, as consumers increasingly want to have a deeper experience with the content that we, that we produce or that we create in the networks, we're in a lot of ways building closer relationships with end-to-end -end consumers.